Hey, I'm Adi. I'm the patient care specialist here at Pharmaca, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering some common queries regarding hay fever, including what is hay fever, what are the triggers, as well as how can you manage hay fever better. All explained in five minutes or less. So without further ado, With more than 10 million people estimated to have the condition in the UK, hay fever is one of the most common allergies. When exposed to an allergen, the immune system may identify the substance as being harmful. Antibodies then signal to widen the blood vessels and ramp up the production of anti-inflammatory chemicals such as histamine. This immune response is what causes hay fever symptoms, and hay fever symptoms include itchy red or watery eyes, an itchy throat, mouth or skin, coughing and sneezing, a headache or fatigue. Allergies can be split into two categories. Seasonal, which is typically caused by allergic sensitivity to airborne pollen, mold spores and grass, most active from spring up to the start of autumn. June tends to be the peak for hay fever season. And perennial, which is usually caused by dust mites, pet hair and mold, experienced all year round. There are a number of factors that, whilst they might not be the initial cause of your hay fever symptoms, might aggravate your symptoms. These include cigarette or wood smoke, strong odours like hairspray or perfume, air fresheners, exhaust fumes and other air pollutants, and changes in temperature and humidity. It's time for a pop quiz. Which of the following countries has the highest prevalence of hay fever in the world? A. Japan B. Spain C. The UK or D. Australia the answer will be revealed at the end of the video. While suffering from hay fever can bring discomfort day to day, it pays to be aware of some prevention measures. So, I've got five for you. Close your windows to prevent pollen from entering. It's worth considering a fan or air conditioning unit to cool down on warmer days as opposed to opening the window. Wear sunglasses when outside to reduce the likelihood of allergens irritating the eyes. Use a dehumidifier to prevent mold from growing indoors. Wash your hands thoroughly after petting animals. Aww. So that's four, but there is one more which I can't seem to remember. Oh, uh, that's it. Use a hay fever treatment. During allergy seasons, fexofenadine tablets can be taken once daily and are available in 120 milligrams and 180 milligrams options. Fexofenadine is a non-drowsy antihistamine that is highly effective and regarded as one of the most reliable hay tablets. If you are predominantly suffering from symptoms of a runny nose, a blocked nose, or sneezing episodes, you can try to use a nasal spray. Mometasone Furate is a nasal spray for hay fever relief that reduces inflammation inside the nose, assists with breathing, and reduces nasal symptoms. If you are predominantly suffering from symptoms of itchy, watery, red, or inflamed eyes and swollen eyelids, you can try hay fever eye drops. Sodium promulgate is an eye drop for hay fever relief that's designed to stop the process of an allergic reaction in the eye caused by allergies. So to answer the question from earlier in the video, which of the following countries has the highest prevalence of hay fever in the world? A. Japan B. Spain C. The UK or D. Australia Before I answer that, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. So the answer to the question. A. Japan Pharmaca pharmacists are at hand to answer your queries regarding hay fever treatment or any other questions regarding conditions that you may need advice for. To contact the pharmacist today, head to the link in the description. I've got a question for you. What are your go-to remedies for hay fever? Let me know down in the comments below. And check out the video on screen to find out how to save money on medication.